a lot of the acts were on piano, and so to keep the piano element and still have the band play, but keep it sounding like there's piano in there, to have Dizzy there live and, and, and he played on the record. And we've known him since, since the beginning. We've known the guy for a long time. We used to live in opposite studios right next door to each other, and we were all scumming it together. Mm -hmm. So he fit in real easy. <laughs> There's lots of kinds of material, um, basically with all kinds of different reactions in the press and this and that, it was kind of like the only way to show where we've been and, and to make ourselves happy was to just try to put it all out, try to put all the material out at once, which, you know, 148 minutes, that hasn't really been done. I mean, Springsteen put out a five album box set, but it was live. You know, it had been done over the years. called Coma that is like 11 minutes and 45 seconds long with no chorus. <laughs> okay. And I think there was only one verse that like somewhat repeats itself. Um, it's Slash's baby. It's his monster. The song used to be called Girth. <laughs> um, but I started writing about when I OD'd four years ago mm. and the reason I OD'd was because of stress, I couldn't take it. Yeah. And I just grabbed this bottle of pills in, 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 a, in an argument and just gulped them down. Yeah. And I ended up in the hospital. And, but I liked that I wasn't in the fight anymore. And I was fully conscious that I was leaving. Yeah. I liked that. But then I, I go, all of a sudden my, my first real thoughts though were that, okay, you haven't toured enough, the record's not gonna last, it's gonna be forgotten, this and that, you have work to do, get out of this. And I went, no, and I woke up, you know, and pulled my Live and let die. Um, it, uh, I don't know, I was watching the, uh, I thought about it once a long time ago, but just thought, you're never be able to get that, the way it sounds, yeah. that done that well. And then I was watching, uh, I'd rented the movie, and I was watching it, and I just <laughs> went, this this song sounds like Welcome to the Jungle too, <laughs> you know. It's like now that you're here, so and it ju it just felt right. So we ended up playing it a little bit in rehearsal, and it started working. And now that we actually gone and started recording it, you know, we're finding out that wait, we are good enough to play this song. Yeah. You know, we didn't think we were. You know, we didn't think we were good enough to get it down right. You know, but Slash is doing most of the string arrangements yeah. on his guitar with a harmonizer. And it's, so it's kind of like, to me, it's like Tom Waits meets Metallica or something. Because <laughs> the way I sing, it's so rough and scratchy. But, you know, that I sound like Tom Waits or something on it, kind of. Yeah. It's working out really good, and it, it sounds like us. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody that hears it goes, thinks that it sounds like the perfect song for us to do. <laughs> 